Hey. Let's for change. Let's hear for change. All right. We're a group of progressive Democrats dedicated to making real change in the Democratic Party so we can make real progressive change in America. Uh, and we do that right here in the hometown of democracy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's here for democracy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm tickled to be here also at the birthplace of America in the first year of a Democratic administration that's poised to finally start delivering real change to the American people. Uh, it's hard to believe that it was just last year, just last year in the summer of 2008, when I stood right about there. No, you stood uh, over there. Uh, right, about, right about there, Al. Uh, uh, cheering the man who would lead uh, this country to real change, President Barack Obama. Let's hear it for the president. Yeah. Let's also hear it for Democrats who have gone to Congress, taken both houses, and continue to push for real change in America. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It hasn't been easy, change never is, but it's been a good year. And it's going to be even better when we deliver real change with real health care reform, with a real public, public option. option. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here in Philly, where America and democracy were born, right over there, uh, we've had a recipe for change that we've been following for two centuries. You get real change when you get good people to stand up against the tyranny of the status quo. When good people say enough is enough, when good people stand up for the principles that inspired this country, this experiment in democracy, the principles that say we are all created equal and we're endowed by our creator with the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All right. That's what a dude from Virginia named Thomas Jefferson came here and wrote when the first Americans could no longer take the tyranny of the status quo. That's what the second Congress dedicated itself to when they wrote and signed the U.S. Constitution right back there at Independence Hall. Let's hear it for the U.S. Constitution. Yes, <laughs> yes founders. All right, and that's what we're doing uh, today. We're, we're here for real change, are we not? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's why it is, for me, so gratifying to be here with these two gentlemen who have refused to sit on the sidelines Two men who have themselves stood up against the tyranny of the status quo. Two men who have dedicated themselves for real democracy and real change. I want to thank Congressman Joe Sestak for running for the U.S. Senate. Yeah! I want to thank you for giving Pennsylvania a real choice and a real Democrat and a real chance for furthering real change in Washington. Yes! yes. 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 That dedication is manifest in Congressman Sestak's career. 31 years of service in the Navy. He served as Director of Defense Policy under President Clinton, where he headed up the Navy's anti-terrorism unit in the aftermath of 9-11, where he was on the ground in Afghanistan, where he commanded an aircraft battle group and helped revamp the Navy's policies for fighting terrorism. This is a military man who put himself on the line for real American principles and stood for real American progress. This is the kind of man I believe we need in the U.S. Senate. Yeah.